Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa, from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to get some energy for tonight. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will no longer offer personal readings. And let's get into this. So, y'all, I'm just going to pop in for a bit. Um, anybody who's been following me a long time or watching me, they know I live in Florida. You guys know I live in Florida. I won't tell you the city, but you guys know I live in Florida. And so, we... The state has experienced or is currently still experiencing a Category 4 hurricane. And let me explain to you how you're always manifesting. Manifestation is a lifestyle. Changing of your mindset is a lifestyle. So, I don't watch the news and stuff like that just because, like I always tell you, the news, though, these programs, that's why it's called programs, these programs are programming you, okay? Uh, and you don't, you don't realize it. That is programming how you think, um, what your expectations are for certain situations or for all situations. Um, so I don't watch much TV. Um, but manifestation is a lifestyle. You're always manifesting because whatever you dominantly think about over and over and over and over again in reference to any part of your life keeps manifesting or, or that's the reality that you're getting. That's the reality, the reality that you're seeing right now. So I didn't even know about the damn storm until Monday. Okay. <laughs> and Monday evening, I tried to get a flight out because I, I just like to be at peace and, and, and I have the ability to evacuate. So, you know, um, it's just me, no pets. My son is grown and he does his own thing. And so, and he wasn't, and he's not even in Florida. So, I, so I was going to evacuate, couldn't get a flight, couldn't get a flight out. Tuesday, they shut the airports down in Florida. The major airport shut them down completely. Tuesday, I'm like, okay, I can't get a flight out. I live more coastally than inland. Um, so I said, and you guys know I live in a, in a condo. Um, so I said, okay, let me try to get a hotel more inland. No hotels. Okay. Hotels are booked up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to ride this out. Um, as soon as, and so, you know, I had friends calling me, asking me what's going to, you know, what's going on with you. What do you think you're going to do? Step number one, stop discussing things with people. Okay. Most people are running scared. Most people are afraid. Okay. I quickly told people, Hey, I don't want to discuss this. Um, let's keep, let's stay positive about this. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Because the news and stuff is working people up and yes, you need to be informed about, about what's going on. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that you create your own reality. Okay. So while they on the news talking about these storm surges and all this other stuff, your mind should be set and your mind should be stayed on what it is that you want to see show up in your reality. Okay. The Bible tells us that faith without works is dead. Okay. It doesn't mean work or it doesn't mean work to me. It doesn't mean physical work. Okay. To me, faith without works means saying that you want something or saying that you intend for something to happen without works. Keeping your mindset in line with what you want, because anybody who's consciously manifesting, you know that it's work. It is work battling your mind to reprogram it. It is work to stay in a story, a new story, when the old story is staring you in your face. Okay. It is work to stay in that new story when you're seeing the absolute opposite of what you're affirming for. It takes work to feel that what you're saying is a lie, okay, but you're trying to convince yourself. 
it takes work to affirm against something that is good that you are experiencing in the present or in your 3d realities so what do i mean by that say you're affirming for money say you're affirming you're a millionaire but you're homeless you're living in your car that do you know how much work it takes to keep your mind on the fact that you're a millionaire you know how much work it takes to keep your mind on the vision and knowing that your 3d reality is something else so that's what i interpret faith without works is dead it's not physical work okay because we all know people who get stuff handed to them and they don't do nothing and you know what that is they their dominant assumption is that things are given to me and i don't have to do much for it i don't have to work hard for money i don't have to work hard at a job I get paid to come in and do nothing. We all know, know somebody who's been on the job. They're probably getting paid more than everybody and they don't do nothing. We all know people like this. So I couldn't get a flight out and I couldn't get a hotel room. So now I, now I know I, um, I got to ride this out. These were my affirmations, swear to God. And some of y'all get so caught up in making the affirmation when affirmation is just your thoughts. The storm passes right on by me. I am not affected. I don't have any damage. My lights and Wi-Fi stay on the whole time. Okay. Those were my three main affirmations that I was saying over and over and over to myself while I'm watching the news to stay informed. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying to myself. Three o'clock, the hurricane touched down and... You know, it didn't touch down in my particular city, um, but it it, it, it it did hit land at 3 o'clock or 3 3, something like that. For seven hours, this hurricane sat on top of the southern point, the like the middle, not not Miami, but more like the southern. It's still south, like Fort Myers and all that stuff, but that's kind of in the middle to me. Fort Myers is coastal. Um, Cape Coral, all those things are coastal. Bonita Springs is, you know, more coastal, a lot of water surrounding it. But when I think about that, it's not the most Southern place. That hurricane sat on top of those areas, including Tampa, um, and some of Orlando for seven hours, for seven hours. It touched down at 3.04. Okay. Me specifically, I can talk to you about what I know, about what I experienced. It sat on top of me because it was only moving like eight miles per hour or something like that. It sat on top of me for seven hours, just dumping water, dumping water, dumping water. The wind, and I've been in a lot of hurricanes. The wind was the scariest thing that you, I mean, just to listen to that. So I could just imagine the people who really, 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 really got hit and they, they had to shelter in place because they didn't evacuate and they're trying to hold on and wait for help. I cannot imagine. Right. So it may land at three o'clock. Like I said, and I know some of y'all are like, when you, when you going to get to the reading, but I'm getting to a point here about seven o'clock. I had had enough. Okay. That's four hours of listening to, 60 and 70 mile per hour wind wind gusts it's scary okay and i had had enough the last affirmation that i added in there is this wind is stopping right now this wind is stopping right now this wind is stopping right now that's what i kept affirming <sighs> my power's not out my wi-fi works fine where I'm at, the wind was blowing. And like I said, I live in a condo. So the higher up you go, the stronger the wind and the sound of that wind. Wind stopped over me. Wind stopped. I actually was able to go to sleep. Um, my power is on. Did not go off. 2.6 million people don't have power right now. Not me. My power is on. Okay, I like air conditioning. My Wi-Fi, I was able to have Wi-Fi the whole time. Zero damage. And like I said, I'm kind of coastal. So the flooding in the water, no damage to my vehicles, no damage to my home. 
nothing. Because I stood on what I'm saying in the face of whatever else is going on. This is what I intend to see in my reality. And this is where I'm going to stand. You have to be careful in what you get caught up in. And I can't even lie. The Weather Channel, like I said, I've been hooked for two days on this. Everything that I was seeing, yes, I'm watching it, but I'm affirming against it. Okay? Um, you control your reality. And you got some of you guys just don't get it. That it really, the work is in retraining your brain. Rewiring your subconscious. People watching these videos of people on here crying about how, you know, oh my God, I may lose everything. That kind of stuff sucks you in and you take on, you, first of all, energy is, can, is transferable. Thoughts are energy. So just you engaging in that is transference of energy from the number one. But um, we're manifesting every day. We're manifesting all day, every day. It is important to monitor your thoughts. Okay, and to stay in the new story of what you want to see. And while I was talking, I was asking the question in my head of what's going on with you and your person. But I'm going to deck different pages. You and this person don't share, share the same vision. I honestly feel like um, you guys cannot share the same morals. Okay. Values. You guys couldn't value, maybe don't value the same. I'm hearing opposites attract, however, and one or two things you can just accept this person for who they are. Okay. Or, or affirm that they accept you for who you are, because in some cases it's the other person who doesn't want to be with you because, um, differences, cultural differences, whatever, political difference, religious differences, you know, doesn't matter. Um, but you can affirm that you, uh, that this person accepts you for exactly who you are, or you could affirm that, um, you could affirm and change things about this person because everybody's you pushed out. So whatever you dominantly assume about your person, maybe your person doesn't believe in commitment. Okay. Maybe they don't believe in bomber deck chemistry. Maybe they don't, they don't. Wow, here and now. Some of y'all need, need to go listen to that Luther Vandross song, Here and Now. Um, I'm going to link that song. They have to show up the way you dominantly think about them. Okay? So, here and now. Your true love is already part of your li life. This is somebody, I feel like this person, this person, even though you're on different pages, I feel like opposites attract. Okay? That's the first thing I heard. Opposites attract. You guys are very different. Smack dab in the middle is chemistry. The chemistry between you guys is off the chain. It, it, it is something, there is a magnetic pull between you and this person. Even if you don't speak, sometimes you always find your way back to each other. There's always a pull, a pull back to each other. This is in the middle. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. This is somebody that you already know. Okay? This is already somebody, this is somebody that you already know. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else. We're gonna pull from a different a few different decks. Wealthy man. This person may also with this com coming out on top of different pages, you guys could value different things. Like I said, I feel like values and morals are different. Religious there could be religious differences cultural distance differences background fam familial familial background differences but also priority differences what you deem as priority or what you deem as important i feel like it's very different from this person i feel like this person is highly motivated by money okay so this is somebody who i feel like likes to find things every time i see this i think of king of pentacles taurus aries energy or just any earth sign but this is somebody who is, they throw themselves into their work, I feel like. This is somebody who is always chasing a bag. Nothing wrong with that, okay? Um, but this person values money, I feel like. And you might value something else. Or your value system could be very different in what you deem as important. 
talks about his chemistry. Yeah. Lovers came out in Distant Horizon. I feel like there's going to be some kind of hookup or meet up here soon with this person. Okay. You guys could have been dancing around the issue. Um, you, you could have been toying at it. Each one of you could have been uh, hinting at a meetup, but I feel like in the distant horizon. So the near future, the near future, I feel like <laughs> I heard, uh, hit land. I feel like all the games and all the, this just seems far off, but I feel like it's coming. Like it's almost towards land. Okay. Or is land bound. So it's about to hit. If that makes sense to you. Lovers, you're showing up here. Gemini energy. Like I said, the connection between you and this person is nuts. I feel like the, I feel like the um, connection between you and you guys is very strong. I also feel like in the near future, because of the chemistry, um, in the near future, this person... Or you and this person are going to have some kind of interaction, some kind of intimate interaction. Okay. Clarify here and now. Okay. Wow. Two of them came out. <laughs> that here and now is a, um, this person could be incarcerated for some reason. A, a official person is out here. Could be somebody in jail. Um, but also that here and now is a wedding is a is is a known wedding song um your person this could be somebody who is high ranking in some way with this official person out here um this person could be in the military this person could be some kind of police chief something in a, co a official capacity this person could actually work out of jail or be the warden of a jail um but I also feel like this person has you locked in some kind of way. Like, I feel like this person, you, no matter how much you try to stay away, away from this person or get away from this person, you are trapped by this person. Um, I also feel like you may have closed yourself off and are, and are waiting on this person or vice versa. Okay. This gives me eight of swords vibes all day, more Gemini energy. So Gemini, you're showing up here a whole lot and your person has already popped out with this wealthy man. I feel like this is somebody who does well for themselves. Okay. Does well. What's this different pages? I'm sorry, you guys, if I sound sluggish, I'm exhausted. Like I said, I actually got to sleep last night. The first day, because what was last night? Two, uh, Wednesday. The first day, Tuesday, I didn't sleep at all. I, I didn't sleep at all because I was up affirming, up praying. It's all the same. It's all the same. Some of you guys relate more or um, resonate more with prayer. There's a way to get your prayer answered. I shouldn't say answer, but a prayer should not be, God, I'm asking you to please help me No, when you go talking to God, Father God, I thank you that I have this job. Father, I thank you that you have placed a hedge of protection around me and I'm always protected and my children are always protected. Father, I thank you that you have showered me with abundance and prosperity and everything I touch turns to gold. Okay. So it's the same. It's, it, it's nothing but affirming. When you pray, you're not asking. You're thanking in advance for what's already been done. Same concept. Okay? Same concept. What's this different pages? <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. I'm glad I saw that. Playfulness. I feel like this person is a lot more serious. Okay? This person is a lot more serious and you're a lot more carefree. They may, and that's what makes you guys opposite. Okay. This person may, I, I feel like this is somebody who is very much dedicated or very much drawn to money and foundation and being stable. Okay. That's what they deem as important. Whereas you have a more lighthearted energy, playfulness, having more fun in life, not taking life too seriously. Okay. 
enjoying the little things in life and careful not to go overboard. Okay. This person is all about the big things and you're all about enjoying the little things. You don't take yourself very seriously. And there's nothing wrong with that, not taking yourself too serious. Um, because everything always works out in my favor. Everything always works out in my favor. Everything I want wants me. I get everything I want. Okay. What's this chemistry? <clears throat> What's this chemistry? Oh, I ordered us some new cars, y'all. It's probably going to be a little backed up because of this um, hurricane, but I ordered three new decks, so. What's this chemistry? Okay. Sadness, dis disappointment, regret, depression, unwelcome change. And what's weird about that is despair was at the bottom of this deck, and I absolutely saw it. Y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? I feel like sadness, despair, disappointment, depression, unwelcome change, and regret. Um, this person may be tied to something also that is making them unhappy. Okay. It could be another person. What's this sadness? Or well, they're tied to a situation that makes them unhappy. Yeah. Concern. This person has some concern. Hmm. Bottom of the deck privileged lady. Family room. Change. Wow. Change. Unwelcome change. So this person could be going through something with this privileged lady out here. Like I said, that's wealthy man, privileged lady. There could be a situation here where your person is already in something. Okay. They feel trapped in something. They're concerned about this. Okay. They may be concerned um, about money being divvied up or split up. They could be concerned about a home being split up with this family room card here right behind that. There could be a child involved. <clears throat> with child and poverty. This person could also be um, concerned about if they leave the situation, how will their child fare financially? Um, and also they may be worried about, okay, if I leave this situation, what will happen to my finances? Okay. What's this here now? And y'all, I'm just taking it easy. Like I said, I'm exhausted. So we're just going to, I'm just going to read and I'm not in a rush to be honest. What's this here now? <clears throat> purpose. Doing the soul work. Looking for meaning in life. Discovering your life purpose. Going on a spiritual journey. Okay. This person may be on a spiritual path. And they found out or figured out that you're the person for them. This says your true love is already part of your life. I, I feel like this person may feel that being with you is their purpose or being with or y'all are supposed to be together. OK, <clears throat> what else? Magnet. I just told y'all y'all were magnetized towards each other. I am magnetic. That's a good people are always drawn to me or every anybody, anybody that I want, they're drawn to me, you, you know, Affirmations, you can make affirmations out of anything, anything that you want. Magnetic. Seduction and charm. I feel like also I'm I'm, I'm picking up fire sign vibes too here. Uh Aries Leo Sagittarius. Seduction and charm, attracting things in life. Attraction to something, someone, hard to resist something or someone. This person has I, I feel like this person has finally figured out that that no matter how much they try to run from this connection, they're tied to you for some reason. I feel like this person has gotten up an epiphany that you came into their life for a reason and that the reason why they can't get rid of you or they can't walk away from you is for a reason. They feel like there's a purpose to this union. Okay. And busyness uh, and business work entertain. Work, entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. And like I said, I feel, I feel like this person is dominated or very driven by the by the 
the idea of money or being wealthy or having wealth. I feel like this is somebody who throws himself into work a lot, okay? Sure, I don't even know about this person. Like this person has some kind of trust. this person has trust issues or doesn't trust very easily trust at the bottom of the deck in reverse i feel like this person has some issues when it comes to trust <clears throat> mm. bottom of the deck challenging times so i feel like this person is dealing with some challenges here they could have missed some kind of opportun um, opportunity, something that they really wanted, okay? But I, I, I also feel like this person is healing or taking the time to heal, okay? I'm getting temperance energy from them. Taking the time to heal, Sagittarius energy. So this person, whatever this challenging time is, they're, they're concerned about it. There's some concern here, okay? Like I said, they could be concerned about their finances. This, even though this is a shield, this reminds me of a pentacle, okay? Fives are about instability and challenges. That could be five of swords, five of pentacles, five of wands, conflict, okay? Five of cups, we already have out there for sadness. So this person, I just feel like this person may be dealing with some kind of depression also. Not wanting to be around people or being very dismissive, okay, of people. Holding people away or keeping them at arm's length. Four of Cups, Scorpio Energy. Heavy Scorpio Energy here. Eight of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. Keeping themselves busy by throwing themselves into work, like I said. Okay. Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. Also right behind that, the Eight of Cups, more Scorpio Energy in the world. They are walking away from some kind of cycle, okay? Okay. But I feel like they're concerned about walking away. They're concerned about this. This person may also feel like whatever situation they're walking away from, they may feel like they were abandoned or rejected by this situation. So they just throw themselves into work. <clears throat> I said it was a king of wands. What's more on this? I feel like there's a new cycle here beginning. And I've been saying that for the last couple of readings I've been doing. I've, I've been saying it about the cycle ending. <clears throat> Queen of Swords out here. Libra, Virgo, energy, or just any air sign. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this. <laughs> I feel like this Queen of Swords has really taken them. I feel like for one, if this is a, if this is, so I feel like. With this coming out next to the world card, they may be ending a cycle with a fellow air sign or a Virgo, okay? I feel like this is something that has worn them down. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius energy. A lot of Sagittarius energy out here too. But I feel like this situation has worn them down, okay? And it's finally coming to an end. What's this Queen of Swords and Nine of Wands? If this isn't that, then I feel like they may be trying to walk away from some, somebody who is trying to hang on. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Um, like I said, this person may be keeping themselves from you, throwing themselves into work. Um, because I feel like, it's, like I said, I feel like this person really puts a whole lot of emphasis on money. Okay. Also, if this is like I said earlier about them being concerned about leaving somebody because of their finances. I feel like they may be trying to hoard money or I feel like they may be trying to hold on to money from this person. Okay. If this, is, if this is what I said at first, this person has really worn your person out. Okay. Like they're kind of like on their last leg with this. Okay. It's been a lot. It's been a big burden for them. Okay. But I feel like they're trying to protect assets or protect their money in some way for Pentacles, uh, Capricorn energy. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person may also 
So I'm sorry, not six of pentacles, two of pentacles, but four plus two is six, which is Taurus energy and six of pentacles about equal give and take. But when I look at this, I also feel like this person may be concerned about having to pay for two different places or pay for two different things or having to be able to provide for this ex and, and you. Okay. I feel like this person really, I just feel like they're really concerned about their finances. It's a lot of pinnacles out here. It's a lot of pinnacles. Look at this ace of pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, this person puts a huge energy. I mean, a huge amount of um, emphasis right behind that. The sun card. Yeah. And right behind that, three of swords. Yeah. So, like I said, this person may, first of all, may have had you in a third party situation. You know, whenever I see this card, what this means, you know, it's third party Libra energy. <clears throat> I feel like this person may be indecisive about coming towards you, even though they know that this is what would be waiting for them if they did. Total happiness, Leo energy, Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody. So I feel like this person walking away and ending, in, and ending this cycle, but they know that they can be successful and have growth with you. Okay. Sun card. I also feel like this person knows that they can be happy with you or you bring them happiness. What's this? Three of Swords. Okay. Mm. Mm. I feel like there was depth. Oh God. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, there could be children involved here with this page of pentacles, but you got the three of cups behind that and the page of cups. I feel like there's some immaturity here also when it comes to relationships. So I feel like this person may have been kind of been a player. Okay. Or definitely somebody who was entertaining more than one person. And, and if you remember what I said in the very beginning, in the very beginning, values and morals may be different. I feel like this person was very immature when it comes to love relationships, cancer energy. Um, and that had that may have been one of the differences between you two. OK, you may be you may be very mature when it comes to emotional affairs or relationship matters. This person probably is not. OK, I also feel like this person was entertaining more than just you. And there, there may be another person here, I feel like. Hmm. This person may have let their <laughs> may have let their third leg get them into some trouble that they regret now. Okay, because you got regret out here twice. Five of Cups was out here, challenging times was out here, and then the sad card was out here, sadness. So I feel like this person may have let their their third leg get them into <laughs> get them into a situation that you know, yeah. Three of Pentacles, partnering, more Capricorn energy. They may have let their third leg write them a check they ass, you know, don't want to cash. Just to be honest. Mm -hmm. Top of this Queen of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like there's somebody else in this mix. <clears throat> that, they, that they may have to partner with, especially with that Three of Pentacles coming out up under that Page of Pentacles. They got to partner with another um, person in, in order to raise this child, okay? Or once again, about sharing pentacles, sharing money. T on this person. The T on Gemini's person. What's the T on Gemini's person? Tea on Gemini's person. I'm gonna put shuffle on these. What's the tea on Gemini's person? See y'all, I've been having to shuffle away from y'all because it's messing up my camera. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what draws my attention. 
that one played out okay so more about sadness okay but I feel like this person just feels like okay this scenario or this circumstance th that I am in is played out okay I no longer want anything to um to, to do with this so I feel like this person like I said is at their wit's end or their breaking point especially with that nine of wands out there karmic friends can't fully trust them it's tension secret competition keep your friends closer and your enemies closer like i said this person has some trust issues because we saw that trust card in reverse but i feel like also this person has some people around them that does not mean them any good does not mean them any good <laughs> marrying for money my god uh, like I said, this person, they may be dealing with somebody that married them for what they could do for them or what they could provide. Okay. Okay. But that's played out to them. <laughs> that is played out to them. They over it. That's what I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Talking shit. So there may be people around, people around you talking shit about y'all. Somebody may be talking shit about you. Okay. Also, this person could be getting shit talked to them. And I also feel like some of you guys may have been the, the person that your person could confide in. Wow. Okay. Um, screenshots, getting evidence, proof and facts. Somebody got some kind of screenshot evidence. Mm. Somebody could be, mm, the person that they're dealing with could be, uh, screen sc screenshot and some kind of messages that you and this person have exchanged. Okay, this person could also be talking shit about you, especially with their family and friends with the three of cups out there, or talking of shit about the situ situation. I feel like this person is confused about which way to go. Okay, right behind that family issues. I'm telling you, that's something to do with another family here, another person. Let's see what else I'm drawing to. Hey, somebody's really getting played or somebody's really getting, somebody really going through it. I keep seeing fake snots, fake smiles, you know, bottom of the deck. I done shuffled that past threat three times. Fake smiles, player in verse. This person was definitely a player and I feel like that's where the different pages come, uh, come in also. But I feel like this person wants to reform that, okay? I feel like this person wants to reform that. Don't want to be a player no more. And, and that fat Joe. I don't want to be a player no more. Let's pick one more. What am I drawn to? What am I drawn to? Okay. Unbothered. There you go. I feel like you're unbothered in this because I feel like you know the outcome. And so, so that brings me to another point about stressing about your manifestations or let's just say you're trying to manifest this person back. It's already rigged. You already know the outcome because you're creating it. So which, why are you worried? Why are you worried? You're creating it. If your affirmation is me and my person are in a loving, faithful, committed relationship, you know, the outcome is going to be that you're in a loving, faithful, committed relationship because you're creating it. <laughs> you're creating it. So I feel like a lot of y'all are unbothered by this situation because, because you know in the end that you always get what you want. I always get what I want. Everything always works out for me. Everything always goes in my favor. What's this unbothered? Get one more. What's this unbothered? adjudication so i feel like so i feel like there's something going on um like i said i feel like this person may be separating from, from somebody but you're not pressed about the issue you know I, and i feel like some of you guys know that this is coming to an end with them and this person you know it you're well aware of it and so you're not rushing it you are you already know the end from the beginning uh Somebody had told me the, the other day, God, you know a lot of Bible. You know, most of us are, are initially brought up in religion. And so, yeah, I know a lot of Bible. And if applied right, 
if there's an understanding, then it's helpful. It's really helpful. The Bible talks about knowing the end from the beginning, knowing the outcome from the jump. That's what that means. So if I tell you that me and this person are married, if I'm affirming me and such and such are married, that's knowing the end, the wish fulfilled from the beginning. Okay. So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. So you'll know when a new video comes out for all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.